the problem unsolved by the Department of Environment and other agencies concerned for the environment of the Philippines. How can this plastic bag be not fed and make harm to the environment? This is one of the many questions and problems that the Philippines and other parts of the world don't have solutions yet. In Caloacan City, big department stores, grocery stores, and fast food restaurants are present and each of which uses plastic bags. And customers dispose plastic bags unattractively. The open place of Caloacan City, home to many living creatures, animals, humans, and plants, is also like a jungle. But a jungle not with huge canopy trees, exotic plants and flowers, or by wild animals. But a jungle with 10-story buildings, exotic and strange citizens, and by jeepneys struggling in the edge highway. But unlike any other jungle, Kalaokan is a popping ground to the cleverest and most illustrious creatures in the world, the plastic bag. Today, we explore the cycle of life for this curious creature, the plastic bag, on its migration from its starting destination after being used and expanded by most creatures to its home, which is the Garbage River. The Garbage River, which is an ocean of any various garbage and where all other families of plastic bags go, can be seen within the any street corners, canals, or bunch of garbage that lies in the sea. Plastics are materials used to make a wide variety of products. Plastic costs less than many other materials. Plastic do not rot like wood and do not rust like metals. Plastic can be of any color and they are used every day, especially the plastic bags. Once released into its wild, the plastic bag is unsure of itself. It wanders around the surrounding or move side to side under the vehicles, or play first with animals and insects, are fundamentally stepped first by the most ignorant and most unaware creatures in this world. And it is us, the human beings. It is us, the main reason that plastic bags have their long journey to their home. The journey of the plastic bag to its home is not easy as what we think it would be. The journey is a very long run and it is a very unsure journey. Once released into the wild, the plastic bag is unsure of itself. It wanders around first, but soon, with some help from the wind, the plastic bag will be able to fly. And this flight would be the first on its long journey towards its final destination, the garbage river. Using the wind to guide, the plastic bag moves across the city through the air. The subdivision may be one first seen by the plastic bag to take a rest first. This subdivision looks like a serene place but danger are present in every corner. Here, the plastic bag will encounter great enemies including one of the most dangerous, the janitors. The janitor gets the plastic bag and shoot! Poor little fellow, looks like his journey ends here. Meanwhile, this plastic bag encounters one of the nature's most deadly killers, the dogs. Once your dog holds up the plastic bag, the plastic bag has few possibilities and percentage that it will survive. But in this plastic bag, using its superior size and maneuvering, the plastic bag manages to get out of the dog's revolution and flee for its life. Over the course of its miraculous migration, the plastic bag will cover vast distances through neighborhood, across parks and dull street roads, and noisy highway roads. It is 
it's closed now and he can feel it. At last, the bag has reached the gateway to the open sea. Careful to avoid some enemies that lie within the water, the plastic bag will travel hundreds of miles to join the private community of plastic known as the Great Garbage River. Here in the Garbage River, the plastic bags can live peacefully together with other co-plastic materials, thus completing the plastic bag journey to its home. journey of plastic bag ends. Our journey of life also ends too. 20% is just the life of plastic bag. But our life? Excuse me, but we should make our life meaningful. But now as you can see, life now is threat in our, this world. Because the only home where people can live with is in great danger. And many hazardous catastrophes that occur. Challenging the people and now result in the end of their life. According to data from Ocean Conservancy's 2010 annual report entitled Trash Travels showed that plastic bags ranked first as the most littered item in Philippine seas, the group said. That's why Eco Waste Coalition and Global Alliance for Incinerator Alternatives or GAIA called on Filipino consumers to reduce their use of plastic bags when shopping for groceries and other items. They also carried signs declaring plastic, Hindi, wall stick. The Green Groups reminded President Benigno Aquino III of his declared support for a ban on single-use plastic bags and other plastic-based disposable containers in a pre-election survey conducted by Eco Waste Coalition and Greenpeace. Over the long term, we must have a greater use of biodegradable materials for packaging and containers and have a sound plan for recovery and recycling plastics. Then, presidential candidate Aquino had said, Canals, corner of the streets, and similar risk places are not really the permanent home of the plastic. They also have their mansion, making the Pasig River, the Pacific Ocean, the Boracay Beach, and all other natural bodies of water their homes. Why do people use plastic bags? Plastic bags symbolize our pension for convenient and disposable stuff as we recklessly embrace a throwaway culture. As you can see, human population grows so large and the habitat that contains them is not enough. It is the same with plastic population. If plastic population grows bigger, the corner or the canals that would be their homes would also be not enough. Homes? Are you talking of homes? The garbage river is not the right home for a plastic bag. Their home are not the seas, the rivers, the oceans. Their home is not here on earth if human using them with no any respect. Plastic bags, just like any plastics, are harming the environment since time immortal. People in the United States throw millions of tons of plastic every year. Plastics do not easily break down or degrade. 
plastics will fill up garbage dumps called landfills. Plastics are a major source of pollution. Using less plastic helps reduce the amount of plastic waste. Making thinner plastic bottles and other containers uses less plastic. Many plastics can be recycled or reused. Recycled plastics are used to make plastic products. Recycling reduces the amount of plastic that gets dumped in landfills. Right, that's true. As you can see everywhere, people in plastic bags are of same number or more. While you're walking the streets, turn right, you see your three classmates as you see the plastic bags they're holding. And the plastic bags of them containing garbage. It is better to end the plastic population before to end the human power. We can make a difference. And this is what we take note on our reporter's notebook. Two, three, go. The 